Let's fail, let's fail, let's fail together. Now, it all started when me and my friend watched Gummy Bear, the yummy gummy search for Santa for no reason whatsoever. No surprise, me and my friend found it so bad it was kind of funny. This in turn caused me to relive my horrible past of watching the shitty Gummy Bear songs on YouTube, when two days later I was scrolling through the Twitter, being surprised to see posts and art about my childhood game Vib Ribbon. Oh, the days where I played my dad's songs with that game. Best thing that the game has. I'd play Gorillas, 19 2000, Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve, and The Blur, She's So High, the most since they're my favorite songs. Still of the game, and all that made me really eager to play it again. Till I found some disgusting fetish porn of Vibri where she's all obese and ick. That's what it got to me. The fat rolls on the poor wireframe rabbit reminded me of the jiggling ass of the gummy bear. I then had a curious and funny idea. I remember at the start of the video, the gummy bear would always say, Look for the gummy bear album in stores on November 13th for lots of music, videos, and extras. I checked the calendar and surprise, surprise, it was November 13th. I left my house in the cold rain and rigorously rushed to Tesco's. Zoomed into the DVDs and CD sector, and just like the ad said it was on sale, I picked it up and purchased it for a really dirt cheap price, because I can only imagine nobody picked it up. I mean, why would they? I thanked the base god, Natrix, under my breath. Got home, fapped to some degenerate furry porn when I should have pissed in the toilet. Got myself a hot chocolate with mead mixed in it so I could tolerate the song and some peanut butter and Marmite on toast. Because I also bought those sauces there too while I was at Tesco's. I turned on my old PS1 with the disc Vib Ribbon contained. With the PS1 logo, it came and gone, and I was greeted with the title screen and the charming music that put a smile on my sad, pathetic adult face and erased my horrible memory of that tainted image I saw earlier. I warmed up with the easy default level. After completing it and feeling great, after listening to the song of Vibri praising my surprisingly near perfect score, I took a swig of my freshly made hot meat chocolate and went for the custom disc music option. I removed the CD of Vib Ribbon and replaced it with the Gummy Bear CD, reading, I am your gummy bear. I responded with, I am not. You are but a mere disgusting fictional character. And with that, I closed the PS1 lid to run the CD. I started the track with the first one, the Gummy Bear song, seeing Vibri hopping and panning camera directions with the uh, uh, in-game SF accent until I heard the pop that starts the Gummy Bear song. The level was surprisingly the hardest level I ever fucking experienced. It was filled with mixed shapes at a fast pace. I fucked up and the screen and shit wibbled everywhere. When I got the hang of it and got through more of the song, I managed to sort of see a green dot in the distance outside the track. I thought it was just the telly or the game being old as fuck, having some dead pixels. But actually, I quickly sharpened and refined the dot, growing closer to the track. It was the gummy bear, and he was coming toward the track from the background. I thought to myself, What the fuck? Fuck! How? Why? Because of the fact I wasn't paying attention to the difficulty of the game, I started to hear more Vibri squeals when she collided with the obstacles until she was a worm experiencing the taste of a spicy crisp. The gummy bear's rendering grew more and more realistic. It surpassed the graphical limitations of the 32-bit PSX. It's more like a rendering of the late PS2 or early PS3 game. But it didn't stop there. He got closer and closer, and even more realistic to the point Vibri took notice, broke off the beating track, and non-rhythmically scrambled toward the fourth wall, banging on the screen to get away from the approaching gummy bear. I looked through Vibri's wire frames and saw the gummy bear 
bouncing toward where Vibri was and bypass the track. Up close, he looks so realistic. He looked as though he came straight from the PlayStation 5, Unreal Engine 5. I hid under the cushions under my sofas. I didn't want to see what the gummy bear would do to her when he caught her. Under the pillows, I heard her screeching in anger and fear. After 1 minute, 24 seconds, 59.259 milliseconds, I was brave enough to look at the TV screen. Nothing was there, except green text in the middle with a bubble gums font reading, I am her gummy bear now, and you're next. Weird and eerie, but I scoffed at that. I mean, what the fuck is a gummy bear going to do with me? Sing to me shitty German vocoded songs for the rest of my mortality. Yeah, I'm not scared of some disgusting, blubbery, obese bear, but then again, what happened to Vibri? I took the gummy bear disc out of my PS1, but I shortly dropped it because it was so frickin' hot and it was singeing my carpet. I collected my tweezers that I'd normally use to get out my dick and disposed of into my fireplace, not my dick, the, the CD, where the CD burned back into the hell it once came from. Not before putting out the kindling carpet floor. I felt a heavy burden, feeling responsible for Vibri's life, even if she was nothing but an animated image. I decided I was finished with the day and prepared for bed. When I settled to bed with no further complications, well, I couldn't get myself to sleep. So I decided to read Francis of the Filth, continuing from the aftermath where Frank and his friends warred against the Negli generations. When I reached the part of the story where Frank ends up in the rice fields, I felt a disturbance in my room. I glanced around, but somehow the I Am Your Gummy CD was just laying there in front of my bed, not burning the carpet this time. Alongside the Blu-ray DVD of Gummy Bear, the Yummy Gummy Search for Santa, and all other Gummy Bear discs forming the points of a pentagram with the CD of the Gummy Bear album sitting in the middle. What the sh shit? Am I hallucinating? Suddenly, glowing green outlines joined the disc, creating a sick-looking pentagram. The disc in the middle created a fuzz of glowing light, which would have blinded me if I turned my eyes away from it too late. My room shook and silenced all other light sources residing my room with growing shadows, where the green light didn't shine. Eventually, my smaller furniture, like my homework, gravitated around the shit. With a loud bang and a flash, I saw what stood before me. A fat, half-naked blob of a man looking hyper-realistic. No, mega-realistic. No, it was so realistic I saw details I never thought were possible to concentrate on, like the sweat and pores of his flabby gelatinous body and his eyes when people with malice, not the devil's eyes, mind you, but the ones that mimic the dreaded gummy bear. The gummy bear roared at me like in that scene from Shrek, only with far more spit and shit from his mouth. I didn't know what to do. No matter how much I tried to move, my body just wouldn't let me go of this newfound paralysis. I wanted to get out of my room right then, but uh, I'd shit my bloody pants. I, I, I didn't want to clean up all the mess in my room. I just wanted this torment to stop so I could go to sleep. But no, Destiny didn't want me to even dart my eyes anywhere else. And call me Destiny's child... I was trapped being in an interactive audience, this realistic six-and-a-half-foot gummy bear with a dimension ahead of mine. He then Fortnite danced around me as I watched his mega-realistic fat rolls wobble around so disturbingly. All the while, he sang new, awful, original songs from his icky mouth. Booby, booby, bing, bong. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I couldn't believe the gummy bear would have the audacity to say that word like the slave trade never happened. After singing his bing-bong jargon, he reached his hand to my face and ripped off my nose. I didn't feel any pain, but I definitely felt like it was gone as the gummy bear teased me with it. He then put in his half-bear ass so that I'd never dare to get it back. I cried. Afterward, he picked up a long, dangly white rabbit doll and ripped its head off. Fluff flew across and some hit my face. 
As soon as it hit my face, it broke the curse of my paralysis and whizzed to my door and fell down the stairs without hurting myself, turning back my head after laying on the ground floor. I saw him wobbling toward me faster than a penguin on speed. I left the house, and he followed me, too. Sooner or later, I began to slow down as he got closer and closer to me. When he finally reached to me, I collapsed away from him and prayed that my end would be swift. As my life flashed before. When I looked up, I saw some rough-looking guys leaning against the walls of the street who were eyeing us. Some with annoyance, some with cheek, but all with malice in mind. They snarked and commented to the gummy bear, What the fuck? Is that green bear looking ass? Hey, green cunt. Nice fat rules, ha ha. Hey, gummy, sing a song about my big ass dick. The gummy bear focused on them instead of me. The guys then got out their guns and shot at the gummy because on closer inspection they were the bullies of Jeff the Killer. With the leader being Bitch the Bully from Cool Cunt. Uh, that's a naughty word. Gummy was gelatinous, of course, and bullets didn't harm him one bit. The gummy bear got mad and Ford, the only person in the group of uh, a, a darker skin. Ah, I didn't want to stay long to see the aftermath of all this nonsense. I got away from Gummy as fast as I could could once again this time to my house I got clothes on and then to the local bar where I sit as long as I could I didn't drink there I needed to keep my wits with me so I spent the time there just joining in a game of poker with some random dudes also I don't look as though I was loitering of course by the time I reached 2pm with no gummy bear in sight I had to leave the bar in a semi barren dangerous pitch black night I had no other choice but to break into a church and stay safe after lying down there for what seemed like an hour, I heard a loud smash and a large silhouette flew into the church floor through the pane glass. I looked up suddenly to see the figure come toward me. I had enough running through this maniac once and for all and challenged him to a dance battle. The fat man accepted the challenge and made his first move by doing breakdancing, spinning moves, and doing all sorts of crazy acrobatics I couldn't comprehend, let alone do. But something welled inside of me. The soul of Vibri took over. I don't know why I knew Vibri possessed me, but my gut promised me it was her, but then it finally made me dance like a puppet. Doing different but equally complex dance moves like the gummy bears, I was more sweaty than a Twitch thought on stream. Me and Vibri did our best out dancing. Eventually, with the big dance roast move, Gummy was so defeated, he exploded into bits of Gummy Bear and green bunts and flames, soaring from once he stood. When it was all over, I collapsed on the church floor, breathed a sigh of relief, took a rest. <laughs> 